Alright gamers, welcome to this new video playing a uh, test for the Steam Deck which is coming out, if not already out. Uh, unfortunately I was not one of the lucky few whom Gabe Newell hand delivered to in the Seattle area, but that's okay. Uh, instead we could play the Aperture Desk Job, which is the Steam Deck demo. Uh, on the PC, so uh, unfortunately you are required to use a controller, so got that going for us. Um, so we'll step in here, I got the subtitles on and everything, so we get to work here at Aperture Science. Welcome to the Aperture Science Competence Center for our most gifted employees. I'm Cave Johnson, and if you're hearing this, you are exceptional. No, don't be bashful, it's true, no false modesty. Let's get started. Look at all those tubes, stretching off in the distance. Every one of them's taking something important to a genius who's going to use it to change the world forever. A genius just like you. How are you going to change the world? Well, that's up to you. History will remember what you do here today. Do not let us, and by us I mean all of us, all of humanity, down. So congratulations! You are about to take part in the greatest science adventure at the greatest applied sciences company on Earth. This is important work, and you are just the genius to do it. God gave you these gifts. I'm giving you the opportunity to use them. Well, here's your lab. I don't mind telling you, we're excited up here. Moon landing excited. Newton, Einstein, Wait a minute. That's, now you. That's not right. I think I put the wrong tape in. Hold on. Good luck! World's best science. Okay, here we go. You, in the overalls. Get to work, or you're fired. Th they don't give out overalls anymore. Anyway, my name's Grady. You can call me that. I mean, let's do introductions later. You should really already be... <sighs> Honestly, I'm surprised you're not fired already. Anyway, uh, you are a uh, ba -ba -ba product inspector. That is your inspection desk there in front of you. You will be inspecting, uh, okay, uh, doesn't say. Anyway, something is going to come down the conveyor belt, whatever it is. Make sure it works. Once you've done that, keep doing that. That's the whole job. Anyway, just remember, the important thing is to have fun on your own time before you come in. Otherwise, it's just, I don't know, it's, it's real bad here. It's fine. You'll probably be fine. Good luck. Yeah, so we met our uh, buddy Grady there. So we are a product tester. And we're testing the Aperture Laboratories. Haha, <laughs> funny. I'm a funny guy, aren't I? Uh, but anyway, that's really it. We just gotta test the toilet, make sure it works. So X, Y, B, then A. All good. Here we go. First toilet down. All right, second toilet. We know the drill now. Fill with water in the tank. Test the bowl, bidet splash thing, and then flush. Epic. Alright. Next one. <laughs> Same thing. You know, it is what it is. This is a job. There we go. Dead gummit. I knew it. I, I left the volume down. Hold yeah, on. Zip zap zap. That is how you inspect the toilet. I hope you were paying attention because I'm not saying any of that twice. Look, it's not rocket science. It's not even toilet science. Here's everything you need to know. See that light on the wall? If that light goes on, you're fired. <sighs> okay, good. You heard the important part. Wait, wait, hold on. Have they all been smoking? You know what? It's not our job to test if the toilet's on fire, right? Just do your regular thing like normal. Move it down the line, and then it's somebody else's problem. I like that idea, so it's somebody else's problem. You think so. your job's bad? I mean, your job is bad. <laughs> Do you hear that? Hold on, I'll, let me take a look. I'll leave it to Grady. Yeah, keep up. testing it. Oh. Can you get me out of here, please? Thank you. Nope, I'm just wet now. <laughs> My bad. Stuff no. The toilet. no, 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 no. It's work. That's it. That, are you, what is your plan? Oh. It's working. Ah! Yeah, there we go. Just test it. Get it out of here. Oh. 
So, first off, I, I think we're in a lot of trouble here. Now, I also think we're going to be rich because I think he just admitted something. Okay, here's what we are going to do. I'm going to go work on this in secret. Just you go back and pretend to go back to work, right? Like it's got to look good. I mean, just pretend the most you've ever... You know what? Just go back to work, actually. Yeah, that works. I'll be back. All right, so yeah, we're just going to get back to work now when Grady does his thing. He's got an idea with the uh, smoking toilet there full of bullets, so... Probably find out what that's all about in any due time. Hey, I'm back. Yeah, I'm back. Uh, first off, you did awesome pretending to calibrate all those toilets. The best. All right, are you ready for this? Presenting. Press, you gotta press the button. Presenting. Presenting the Aperture Science Turret. Go on, take it for a spin. The control, yeah. And I haven't even showed you the best part. Here's the best part. So if you press R2. Left. Shoot it. There you know go. what though? I mean, you're definitely going to kill yourself with it pointing at you like that, so let me just turn it around. Alright, shoot again. Don't worry, it's safe. I mean, this time. This time it's safe. Last time it wasn't. You almost died. Right, so, take it for a spin here, we can control it, so... Wow! Holy moly, man! That is great! Oh, man, the turret broke. That was the only one, too. But don't even worry about it, because here's what I've actually been working on. Ta-da! Introducing the Mark II. This is what I spent most of the six months on. It was one month for the first turret, and then like five for this bad boy. Oh man, you gotta take my picture with this. Uh, the desk should have a camera built into it. So all we do is actually, we, there's different poses. Are you taking the picture? So we'll, we'll do that one, then we gotta press. F12 on the keyboard there. Okay, take good. A screenshot. Moment recorded. Funny, for all the history books. Use the keyboard for now that. for the fun part. You are going to take it for a spin. Here, let me turn it around. So okay, sure normally I'd walk you through everything, but I think you get it. Else. Let's just open everything at once and see what happens. All right. So. Ah, right? Right? Oh, this is great. This thing shoots so good. Okay. My bar fell off. Keep going, though. There you go. All right, something else fell off. You can still shoot everything else. Don't even worry about it. That's some Jason Okay, quite a bit is falling off. Just keep spinning. Keep shooting. You're not doing this. This is a structural engineering problem. It's on me. You're doing great. I bet it's the glue. I'm 99% convinced of that now. It even looked cheap when I bought it. I remember looking at it like, ah, spend the extra dollar. And yep, here we are. Now we broke everything, I think. stuff I put on there just didn't work most of it like 90% or even higher maybe but some of it worked great so all we have to do is keep the great stuff and then we then we can so okay that's the police so one of us needs to streamline this turret right and one of us needs to take the fall for shooting up the warehouse because they're this is a lot of damage, and they're gonna look into this. Which job, which job do you want? How about I fix a turret, and then you take, yeah, I'll do that part. Remember, if anyone asks, you don't know me, okay? Don't say anything. So Grady sells us out, and now we're going to jail. Nice.
Hey, well, I mean, wow. You are the best. Thanks for keeping your mouth shut and doing your time. I mean, it was way more time than either of us were expecting. I don't know what was in those boxes we blew up, but they were, wow, were they mad. Anyway, I promise you're not gonna regret this. Now let's get you out of here. Given that the offender has faithfully observed the rules of the institution, offender has been granted supervised early release. Please sign for your possessions. Inmate's possessions are as follows. Desk, one. Inmate must state their name, print their name, then sign their name. Right. After the tone, state your name into the desk. Invoyans. Inmate's name is now preserved for the permanent record as... Invoyans. Low quality, but I will go with it. <laughs> Alright. Moving on. Now, type your name. So I guess, you know, I must have spelled my own name using the keyboard again. Is what Moving it is. Moving on. Now, sign your name. Alright, so then we use the mouse to sign again. So, uh, I guess... Um, yeah, we'll have a little bit of fun here. We'll we'll make the make the eye into a penis. There we go. All right, that's good. <laughs> As a condition of supervised early release, parolee and desk agree to report within fifteen days. Hey, don't listen to her. You don't need to worry about reporting to your parole officer. Guess who spent the last 18 months getting his probation agent license through the mail? Yep, me. That's right. I'm your parole officer. I mean, not just you. I'm managing like seven guys on parole right now, but they're basically reintegrated back into society. Well, not Tony. He's struggling a little, but anyway, that's all I was doing. I got something to show you. Let's get out of here. It is never too late to met. You are both free to go. Oh, uh, bring your desk. Why wouldn't I bring the desk? But we'll see what uh, Grady's got to show us now. Head upward again. Okay, I streamlined the turret while you were gone. Introducing the Mark III. Ta-da! So I got rid of all the parts that fell off and just kept the stuff that worked. I mean, it was totally over-engineered, so it just does one thing now. It shoots. It didn't need a satellite dish. That was just dumb. Here, tried on these appliances I found. They were just lying around in the housewares research department in a locked room. All right, so we're going to try it out. Uh, use the I like that tattoo appliances. on your neck. Did you do it yourself? It's like a, is it a dragon holding a knife? It's nice. The more I look at the tattoo, the more I'm thinking we should both have because they have tattoo it. bros. Anybody would be able to look at us and know we are friends. You think you give me the same tattoo? Yeah, but you think I'll the same tattoo? Probably all the average tattoo, but... Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll just think of it. What about like a robot arm coming out of the side of my head That's and it's scary. holding a wrench? So you've got the dragon and the knife, and mine's similar to a more robot thing. Man, that'd be so cool. Oh, speaking of being cool, I've got something even better to show you. Gyroscopic controls. It's real easy. Just pick up the desk, tilt it around to aim, and keep that thumb on the right thumbstick. And you shoot with the right trigger like normal. Go on, try it. It's real easy. Just pick yeah, up the it, desk, yeah, tilt reality, it around to aim. How much did the tattoo yeah. hurt? You were getting to yourself. Did you, you have, have the proper tools? I would bet not actually. I don't know, thinking about it. You probably had to heat up a pin happen. with a lighter or something. That sounds, I mean, that sounds pretty awesome. Another tattoo I did just had is like a robot hand coming out holding a wrench. What if it was like a skeleton? You know, so you're looking at it like, what's he trying to say? on the inside, or does he have like a skeleton trap in him? You know what? Skeleton arm tattoo. I decided. That's the one I want. So when we get a free minute, I'll find a pin and we can get it that way up. We 
All right, flush everything that checks out. Too. This thing is perfect. I think we're good to go here. So, I was saving the best for last. But while you were in jail, I got us a meeting to show our turret to Cave Johnson. That's right, the owner of the company. No pressure, but if he likes this, he's going to make us rich forever. Are you ready? Let's go. We're going to go meet Cave. The guy who doesn't want the damn lemons. What the hell is he supposed to do with them? What are you gonna do with your share of the money? I know what I'm gonna do is pay off the money I borrowed to make this turret. Like immediately pay it off. Or I'll, I mean, whew, I'll be in some real trouble. Plus the VIG, I'll have to pay that too. <sighs> Does it make sense to you that the VIG is more than what I borrowed in the first place? It doesn't seem like it's, that's weird. Somebody overrode the controls. Hold on. Huh, that's one of the appliances I stole from housewares. Oh jeez, it's got a gun! It's an ambush! Man, he got that turret good, huh? Good thing I brought a couple of spares. So now we gotta take out all of their killer turrets. Or they destroy I knew our it. turrets. It's the housewares department. How did they find out about our turret? I can't believe it. They stole our idea, and now they're gonna kill us with it. Housewares, man. They're they're never gonna stop ambushing us. I mean, it's not really an ambush anymore. We know they're coming, but I don't think they're gonna stop coming though. We need to think of something else. Again, we have another 80 floors before we get to the cave. We're not going to survive 80 ambushes in a row. Your desk should have some buttons on the underside of it. Those fire the rockets that got built into the desk. They put those on there standard now for safety reasons. So, if you hit all four buttons at once, it should rocket us up to all 80 levels real fast and then up through the floor of Cave's office. Push all of them at the same time. So Automatic gift arm sequencer engaged. engaged. There we go. Here we go. We are both launch. 10, 9, 8, 7. Modesty panel set to flight configuration. 3, 2, 1. We have liftoff. Okay, really nice work. Good shooting. I think we're good from here. They probably gave up. I have given up by now. <sighs> okay, let's go show this thing to Cave. Also, I do have one quick confession. I didn't actually get an appointment with Cave Johnson. I lied about that. 
But it turns out, I didn't know this, it turns out nobody's seen him in years. I did know it when I lied to you about our appointment, but it was still pretty new information. Anyway, I'm not gonna lie to you anymore. <sighs> I think he might be a millionaire recluse now. So be ready for that. There might be a lot of jars. Hello, Funny, perhaps. Mr. Johnson? Let's just go in. Mr. Johnson, are you here? Hey there. It's me, Cave Johnson. No, no, not behind the giant head. I am the giant head. I'm gonna level with you. A few years back, I got real sick. Body riddled with disease. I was a goner. Threw every dollar I had at it. Told those eggheads, hey, eggheads, make me live forever. Now, I know what you're thinking. You gave the smartest engineers on Earth a blank check to make you immortal, and this is what they came up with? A giant head? <laughs> Off by a mile, no. They figured out how to put my consciousness in a computer. That's what's in the giant head. Their first plan was to put me in a regular brain-sized computer, then they'd put that in a robot body and, hey, presto. Well, turns out you can't fit an entire human mind in a computer that small. All I could do was tell time and know what my name was. So they kept making it bigger. Big enough to cram every last bit of me into this thing. What happened to my robot body? Still under the head, somewhere, all crushed up. Couldn't support the weight. So the lab boys put me in the big head, switched me on, and, uh... I don't know, I panicked, killed a few of them, said I'd kill more if they ever came back. Honestly, I, I regret that now. Anyway, that was four years ago. Been trying to get somebody's attention ever since. Get their butts up here and end my suffering. Now, don't worry about me. It's been a full life, but we're done here. I'm itching for the next step. Heck, I'm excited about it. Don't even think of it as killing me. You're breaking me out of prison. I'm just data now. I need you to crack this big clay head open so I can spill out into the universe. So, what do you two eggheads got? Uh, you, uh, you are in luck. We actually came up here to show you our new invention. Good stuff, let's see it. Show them, partner. So we gotta break him out of the head. Well, I'm waiting. <laughs> oh, that will work. Be honest, I thought you were too to take the dragon to the toilet. Oh, no. What? You were made of metal, sir. So shoot the metal. It's working? In the head, I can't see. It's working great, sir. It doesn't feel like... Uh-oh. Hey, you see that? I think that's his power source. So we could turn them off right now. What I do think you that's think? What we got to do. Up oh, here we go. Powering down the great beyond. Boy, I'll, I'll give you two credit. That is one hell of an invention. You did it. You figured out how to end my suffering. All right. Suffering ended in three. Backup power activated. Uh, you're both fired. I'm gonna need your key cards. Just lay them down in front of the head. Not too close to the chin or I won't be able to see them. Uh-oh. You know what? It just occurred to me that the only person who knows Cave Johnson asked us to kill him is now dead. Yeah. Do you know what the punishment for murder is? They told us in parole officer school, you're not gonna like this, uh, it's life. 
your whole life in prison. We should, yeah, we, we, we should leave. Don't touch anything and bring the desk. Morning, Charlie. It's me, Gary. Gary, your boss. Keep inspecting those toilets. Good work, good stuff. Good. Hey, it's just me, Grady. Yeah, just like yesterday. Man, this witness protection program is great. I don't know why we didn't turn state's evidence against those loan sharks in the first place. We don't have to pay any of the money back. We got cool new names. I like yours a lot, by the way. You know, come to think of it, you think they'd move us to another state or give us new jobs or something. Feels like everything is exactly the same, except our first names. Ah, you know what? They know what they're doing. Anyway, see you tomorrow, Charlie. I guess that counts. is the short little demo we have here for the Steam Deck Aperture Desk Job. Kind of gives you a little perspective about the uh, questions that might loom up uh, in Portal fans' minds, like, uh, you know, Cave Johnson and everything about that. But it also kind of answers, okay, so that's how toy or turrets came to be as they started as toilets. But uh, with that said, that is going to do it for the video, so thank you for watching, and more than ever, take care. <laughs>